Oh, hey everyone, this is Kat. This evening, I managed to completely dismantle several Flossick and Jackson's arguments, and because I managed to successfully dismantle them, uh, I'm apparently demonically oppressed and am um, taken in by an evil spirit. All I did was just dismantle his arguments and point out every single contradiction he made. That's, that's all I did. But, you know, that d just just a sign of an evil spirit, I tell you. It doesn't matter that yesterday I legitimately cast out... I, I made a spirit leave yesterday. I made it leave in Jesus' name, but hey, that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that my anxiety pretty much went away when it left. Well, all that really matters to Washington is that, well, I I'm just taken in by this evil, evil spirit. And it, because I, I don't agree with him, and I am able to point out all the cracks in his story. And, well, if you can do that, it's just an evil spirit, you know? To Washington Jackson, I will never turn my back on Chanel and Brandt. If you think that I ever will, meanwhile, you contradict yourself constantly and can't even be bothered to live up to any of your words, yet you expect people to just blindly believe you. Well, I mean... Look, listen. God has specifically told me that it's okay to talk to Chanel and Brandt. Should I believe you and the demons that all claim that I need to turn on Chanel and Brandt? Or should I believe what God has told me, that it's okay to hang out with them? I mean, I think it would be wiser to listen to God, but if you'd rather I listen to the demons, I mean... I'd say that that would be foolish, but, you know, I guess it doesn't matter because I can point out every single crack in your story, and that just means that I have a demon. Because you don't live up to anything you say. You say that in general you go after false prophets. Yet, when given any opportunity to go after anyone other than Brandt or Chanel, you refuse to do so. Washington, the one who needs to break free from an evil spirit is probably you, not me, and I think that you're deflecting. For some odd reason, you believe the serpent when it claims that it gave Chanel the letter and that you need to turn on her. Why would you believe this? I don't know, but you do. I don't understand it. It's kind of obvious that it's a total lie, but... You know, you've never, you're not one to really get your facts straight on much of anything. When you're set on bashing someone, you run around and you bash them. You don't ask for the other side of the story, and instead you just ignore anything Chanel herself has to say. You've stated you don't care about Chanel's beliefs. Yet you consistently keep speaking on her behalf. Washington, why do you do it all? I know that I've been a little more healthier lately from a spiritual standpoint. And suddenly, I, suddenly I'm being told how bad all of this is for my spirit. Because you're so convinced that it's an evil spirit talking to me. It's kind of funny, actually. Because lately I have been more spiritually healthy. I don't know what's going on with that, but I'm sensing a bit more from a spiritual standpoint. I, get, I have a feeling that I'm probably going to get more and more spiritually healthy, and Washington is going to object even more to it the healthier I get. Because he has things backwards, and he wants to keep things backwards. He doesn't want facts straight, or anything like that. Anyway, it's kind of clear that the genuine reason I was blocked was not actually because I'm just 
being demonically oppressed by this evil spirit currently uh, or taken in by an evil spirit it's actually just because i can point out all the cracks in all this uh, in his story and he does not appreciate that i will see everybody in the next video thank you for watching